Hello everyone, my name is Carrie. This is Tiger Lily Designs. Welcome! Today I'm going to be sharing with you an unboxing. I have a quarterly keeper club, meaning four times a year I send out a subscription club box that includes a keeper, a project keeper, as well as three to five stitching notions that I curate solely from small businesses. Now, if this is your first time finding me and you're like, what the heck is a project keeper? A project keeper is my tiger lily twist on a portfolio project bag holder situation that you can use for cross stitch and needlepoint and EPP and the sky's the limit really on your handworky type projects that you want to keep organized in a different way. My project keepers come in two different varieties. It's a double pocket or a pocket and a bobbin style. Now I will show you both options that were the ones that you could choose from in April. And But let's in the meantime, just dig right in. Like I said, this is a quarterly subscription club that I have. I am a small business from Mount Vernon, Virginia. It is me and myself and I that are doing all the things, but I'm having so much fun. It was a way for me to curate. I do Project Keeper launches once a month on the 15th of every month, but that's a small shop update. And a lot of people were getting frustrated that they were selling out and they couldn't get them and they weren't getting their hands. So this was my kind of way to secure and guarantee that you would get a project keeper if you were looking for one. And in the meantime, I wanted to support small. If you've been around for a while, you know that every December I do a floss miss or a stitch miss and every day I would do videos sharing new small businesses and showing you new businesses, mostly women owned, mostly small, lots of one woman shops that are part of our stitching and making community. And I love exposing you guys to most and all of those new things and you guys love that. And so this was my way of kind of building on that and being able to include new exciting items for you inside this box. So you get, gift yourself a little present. Like I said, it's quarterly, it ships in April, May, April, January, April, July, and October. Currently, right now, let's just get into it. Right now, the club is full. Like I said, it is me, myself, and my two hands that make every single keeper, put all the boxes together, do all the work. I wear all the hats here at Tiger Lily. And so, unfortunately, I do have a cap and the, the wait list, the box, the subscription club is full right now. I do have a wait list. So about once a quarter, right before they fish ship out, sometimes I can open up if, if some slots open up, I do try to reach out to the wait list and get, so getting on the wait list is your way to subscribe. There's also right now, I am currently selling, if this is something after you watch this and you're like, wait a minute, I need to get me one of them keepers. You of course can wait for the shop update every 15th of the month at 1 p.m. Eastern on my website. Links are all down below. Or I am right now pre-selling for my Advent box and there are still slots available for that box. But that box is a little different. We're not digging into that. You can get the details down below if you wanna learn more about that. But today, let's dive into April, shall we? So in the meantime, what do you get with the baby? Okay, first of all, white box. Love my hot pink keeper tape. Like, you know, love that. So inside the box, like I said, there's always an exclusive original design project keeper. This is fabric that I choose and I curate based on what I love, what I think you're going to love. And I put it all together and create an exclusive keeper. With this keeper, you don't, um, you get to choose what style you want when you subscribe for the club. And but you don't know what the fabric is. You, It's a surprise, but hopefully it was a good surprise. So in each one, I give you a Keeper Club rundown that's telling you about the brands that are inside the box. So let's drill into April, shall we? Not that I want to start with, the, but always the exciting part for me for the, the, the reason the reason for the box is the keepers right so like i said there are two different styles there's the double pocket or the pocket and bobbin and so this month this quarter i chose tilda fabrics now i love choosing designers that i love if you can tell i love tulip pink i love moda i love riley blake i love lots of free spirit art gallery tilda at liberty i love fabric love fabric love color I'm having so much fun putting these things together so for the april selection i chose tilda fabrics now tilda fabrics is a designer from norwegian 
Norway. And so she's a very limited. It's hard to get this fabric. It's told only at certain online US places, but I was able to curate a collection to make this. This is from her new spring summer line. She releases two lines a year. So this line is called Pie in the Sky. Um, let me just show you. So this is the full this is the full fat quarter pie in the sky. Unfortunately, I don't think you can get this collection. There are very few places, like I said, online in America that you can get this. Um, fat quarter shop is one of them, but they might be sold out because they only, you only, you have to pre-order everything. But this was the full pie in the sky collection. I chose the fabric. I thought it kind of screamed sampler to me. Like, um, when I was looking at the motifs, of course, I always try to choose a beautiful cover fabric. All the fabrics I choose, I try to, to be very cognizant of what's going to go together, what people are going to love, what I love, how does it tie into things. And so this one, when I saw it, I was like, that just looks like those little sampler motifs, doesn't it? So many of the historical samplers have these flower pots and these things that shoot up. I don't know. It just spoke to me. And I loved the, the simplicity of it as well as the colors and the complications. Listen, this one I chose, if you saw the first one, January's box was bright and purple and tula and woo! This one... I want it to come down a little bit as well as like I said speak to sampler it just spoke sampler to me the green and the pink every if you stitch samplers you're stitching green because there's always flower pots right there's always green I feel like there's green lots of the things in the cross stitch world have green in it I thought it would coordinate beautifully you could use it for lots of different things um you know that's the one thing about the keeper club is that I do try to make the covers they're not seasonal there's not going to be the Advent one will be, but the, you know, they're, they're not seasonally themed. There's not patriotic or, um, Thanksgiving or Halloween or things like that. That's, I keep that for my shop updates. So if you're looking for something themey, like I just had patriotic here in this month, but if you're looking for something themey, that's when I throw those things in, but the keeper club will not have a theme. It'll be a, a cover, a fabric that is going to be applicable to year round. So this is, like I said, this is Tilda's pie in the sky. This is the double pocket. This is mine. So it does have stuff, does have, it is in use. Um, the double pockets always have two vinyl pockets, two zipper pulls. I use the jumbo large pull zippers because they're easy. They're easier to handle, I feel, than trying to grab one of those tiny ones. As well as behind, behind you have pockets as well. As you can see, that's where I've got some charts and more charts and that's it. What's, that's what I've got so far. And some floss on the inside on rings and here keeps everything safe and secure. So like I said, I chose three fabrics from the line that I thought coordinated together. And this is the bobbin style. So it looks exactly the same on the cover and the back, right? And this is a um, binding on the top, a quilted binding. But with the poppin, with the bobbin style, you do get 24 slots to pop in your DMC bobbinated floss. So that way, if you're a bobbinator, you can keep your things organized. They look pretty. You can see exactly what you have and what you do. Don't. And then the other side has the, the one pocket behind and the one vinyl pocket in front. So that is the keeper that was included in April. I loved it. I think lots of people were excited about the Tilda fabric, which is exciting. So that was fun. Then digging right along into what was next in your box. Okay. So like I said, I'm having the most fun curating and finding small businesses that are not only already in the stitching community, but that can kind of play parallel, that are kind of sideways complement, hold hands with the stitching community. Maybe not, it's not their traditional needle minder maker or scissor maker or fabric dyer, all of which I will find, all of which I would love to share with you. But I also like to think out of the box a little bit, right? So as I was finding... I love a good, the more organization, the better. And so I found this company. Her name is Garrett Whitaker. She is a one woman shop down in Arkansas, Little Rock, Arkansas. And what she does, her name of her company is called Properly Marked. And she specializes in custom, customized bags and accoutrement, right? And so I saw her, I saw these bags and I was like, oh my gosh, 
DM you now, Garrett, and this was months and months and months ago. I said, so this, can we do this? So we worked together and we collaborated and we made a one of a kind only available in the Tiger Lily Quarterly Keeper Club box vinyl pouch. So this was, now the vinyl pouches are not, you can get these from her, right? But it won't say stitch. It'll say makeup or skin or sun or swim. Or she, she, she was thinking like holding your toiletries and your doodahs and your things. Well, when I saw it, I was like, oh my goodness to Betsy. A, I love the rainbow letters because every light color, beautiful gold zipper. It opens up beautiful vinyl pouch to hold all your things, right? Keeps your extra thread. So those extra big projects, that's why the project keepers are so fantastic is they can hold multiple projects. A lot of those big, huge sampler, like anniversaries of the heart from Blackbird, you have like 10 patterns and you've got about 47 flosses. And how do you keep them organized? Well, you've got four pockets, but then you also, the great thing about this, and of course, here I am trying to shove it in one that has already got stuff in it. But the great thing about this size bag, and we purposely work together to make it work, is it shoves right into the back pocket. So you can load this up and stay even more organized with all your stitching stuff. And so you can make this like a triple project keeper. Have one project here, one project here, a mini project here. You could take this for your weekend and everything is together in this one thing. So like I said, I loved working with Garrett from Properly Marked, getting these gorgeous hand stitch. You can see these are not stickered. Um, some of the ones you will see online are stickers. These are not, these are all stitched down letters with the word stitch. I thought it was the perfect way for my stitching friends to stay organized. I loved this. So then the other person, the next thing in the box, I found a friend, Libby. Libby's business, she lives in rural Virginia. I'm also from Virginia, so I love supporting local Virginias. She's a stay-at-home mom who has got this side hustle business, beautiful artwork. So I originally saw her designs as stickers, and I was like, okay. And she had a couple different concepts, and so we worked together, and Libby knocked it out of the park. Like, Oh my gosh, I was blown away when I saw these. So we worked together and Libby, this is original Libby's artwork. Like I said, she is, the name of her company is Oh Little Wren Adorable. Please follow her on Instagram, give her lots of love. She has lots of cute other all original wood, plant markers, needle markers, stickers galore. It's not stitchy related. These are the only ones that are stitchy related because we collabed and held hands and worked together to make a tiger lily special for you, but she has lots of super adorable artwork and and just beautiful. She has this beautiful Mother's Day collection. Of course, that's now come and gone, but so many gorgeous things. You just need to give her a follow. She, um, so like I said, Libby designed this, let me take it out of the package, designed this original artwork. So all I did was I gave her a picture of the tilde fabric, right? I said, listen, this is the fabric. I just wanted to coordinate nicely. And she put her own little twist on it and her own little interpretation. And this is a gorgeous wooden, it's about one and a half inches. It's beautiful. Needle minder quality magnet on the back, on the front, beautiful situation that she created. And then we took it one step further. Like I said, she has gorgeous vinyl letter, vinyl stickers, perfect for your water bottle, your laptop, whatever you want to do. But oh my goodness. So she took that original artwork that she designed and then she colored it in. It's gorgeous. Okay. So do you see there's a hoop? Super cute. So she did a cute little stitchy hoop, right? And then we put beautiful things come together one stitch at a time. Oh my goodness, love this. I love that it coordinates with the keeper. I love that it coordinates with the needle minder. I'm here for it. Like I said, a custom Tiger Lily Keeper Club only exclusive from Libby at O oh Little Wren. I will link all the shops down below where you can get the get their product, follow them on Instagram, give them love, all the things. As well as I went ahead and I, listen, Tilda has gorgeous buttons and she always does a Notion button collection with each of her fabric collections. So I couldn't pass it up. I thought these buttons 
were adorable. They're fabric colored covered buttons that'll be perfect to just use for finishing, add a little accent to a bag that you make. So many possibilities, so many options. So I got everyone, it has this adorable button package that coordinates with the pie in the sky collection. And then last but not least, I throw always throw in this, my favorite stash tea at the time. This one was Jasmine Blossom, love that. And then last but not least, I love to throw in a sweet treat. Again, I stick with the small business. It's all about supporting small. I am not going to a big box store and throwing in some M&Ms for you. No, I am not. I am trying to find artisan foods and treats and specials. It's a treat for you, right? So I want it to be special. Now, this one was chocolate and I did learn I did learn that shipping chocolate to Florida in April is a no-no. Thank goodness all my Florida friends were understanding. They popped it in their freezer and were able to enjoy it after the fact, but so there won't be chocolate again, friends. But this chocolate was so good. I couldn't pass it up. This is from a company called James River Chocolate Company. Now, okay, first of all, if you know, you know, I love, I'm a bird person. Cardinals are my jam. It is called Blue Ridge Bark. It is milk chocolate, toasted pecans, dried blueberries, toffee crunch, and sea salt. This artisan chocolate, I had to, I had to just break the rules and bend the rules and just do it because it was so good. It is made here again in Virginia. It's from Charlottesville, Virginia, which is where my daughter goes to college right there. And so I tested it. It's an artisan chocolatier shop, Gear Heart Chocolate Factory. Chocolatier, chocolate, Gear Heart is the is the is the mama brand of this and so i will link them down below that is where you can buy it if you want to get yourself a bag james river is only sold to independent companies but you can grab it from gearheart they're beautiful artisan chocolate and you can tell the difference such a great treat treat yourself it was so much fun so that was the fantastic april keeper club quarterly box I love putting it together. I love everything in it. I am having so much fun. I've got July ready to go. October is in the works. Plus the advent box is in the works. So many different things. So many fantastic small businesses to share with you. I'm always finding new ones. So many are just starting and popping up and coming into the world. I want to support them all. I want to share them all with you so that you can be exposed to new and small and upcoming people that you don't know that you don't know. And so it's the perfect opportunity for me to share those things. And hopefully it's something that's fun for you. So I did want to share, just give you a little bit of story. That is the April box. And like I said, unfortunately, the Keeper Club is full right now, but there is a wait list. I will put the wait list link down below. Get your name on it. I can't guarantee when you could be able to come off, but you can always get the details for the Advent Box because like I said, there are still slots available for the Advent Box. The Advent Box will include an exclusive Keeper and it's a 12 days of Stitch Miss Advent Box. And so there will be 11 other days of small business only procured items. It's gonna be good, friends. I'm super excited and that's what I've got for you today. So until next time, friends, happy stitching.